What's up friends and welcome back to another video. We are back in the shop working on the 2007 Hawkeye build. I am still waiting on some parts to arrive in order to uh, finish the engine build and put the long block back together. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to be working on a few things that need to get done. Um, so today we're going to be deleting the secondary air pump. If you don't know what a secondary air pump is, um, I will kind of show you, uh, where it's located in the engine bay and do my best to kind of explain, uh, what it, what purpose it serves. So if you look right in here, uh, I have some lines kind of in the way. Um, this is the main air pump assembly right there. Um, there's a hose that comes out this way, uh, that hooks into this hose right here. Um, and that goes to these two pieces there. And I'll show you how all this hooks up, uh, using this engine and our refreshed heads that we just got back from the machine shop. So the secondary air pump is an emissions related component and from what I've learned about it, it really only functions um, on initial startup. I don't know if that's every startup or just like a cold startup. Um, and it's to reduce emissions for a short period of time. Um, and then it doesn't really do anything after that. So the 06 and 07 uh, WRXs are notorious for these air pumps failing. Uh, either the valves on them get stuck open or closed and you throw a CEL because it does not affect the drivability of the car uh, and it cleans up the engine bay, I've chosen to delete it. Also because the secondary air pump, you can buy them to replace, but they're super pricey. So on the back of the uh, cylinder heads here, you can see where these plates were, right here and right there. That's where uh, the secondary air pump um, uh, line feeds into the block. And that's this line right here. Uh, this plate actually mounts up with this, I believe, this valve. This one mounts up in a similar way. I believe something like this. And then uh, you have this hose that connects on to these two valves. And then this piece goes back to the air pump housing that I showed you in the engine bay. You do have to seal up these holes right here because they go right into the cylinder heads. Uh, a kit that I bought a while back and just hadn't gotten around to installing it because I hadn't had a reason to pull the engine out uh, by PRL Motorsports. Um, I just Googled it and came across these. Um, it says right there, uh, EJ25 air pump delete plates. All right, so now that the surfaces are all clean, as you can see, I'm just going to use some three bond here <clears throat> and coat the surface here around the hole and around the edges on both sides and then bolt the plates in. installed these heads are all sealed up um, we're gonna move over to the engine bay and I'm gonna start dismantling that pump housing and getting that whole bracket out of there 
These appear to be all 10 mils. That was it. And just this clip. And she is free. So there she is, guys. The secondary air pump, the infamous secondary air pump that uh, is not an if it will die, it's a when on these GD WRXs. Um, so, yeah. Stoke that's out. Um, and then just look at all this space. It frees up. It's so nice. One thing that I almost forgot to mention is this valve. This is the one that like sits right underneath the um, intercooler. Uh, this valve actually needs to be retained. This, this um, or this sensor right here rather. This is your uh, barometric pressure sensor. So you can either leave like Take the metal hose, take the metal hose off, and then just mount the valve back in place, and then just plug this into the engine harness. Or um, I have read and seen other people just cutting this. You can like cut it flush with the metal right here. Um, I'll probably cut the sensor out, but you do want to make sure that you retain that somehow. So that's all there is to it, guys. Um, you know. If you are one of those uh, lucky individuals that has a CEL for a stuck air pump valve, um, that's how you can do a full delete. One thing you should be aware of if you're going to delete your secondary air pump is you are going to throw a code after you remove those valves. Um, and so you do need to disable that CEL somehow. Um, I use open source tuning on this car and so it's not an issue for me, uh, but you know, I, I can't really make recommendations on like how you should go about doing that. Just know that that's something that you'll have to deal with if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna do this delete. So that's gonna wrap it up for the secondary air pump delete. Uh, hope that was informative and helpful for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I very much appreciate it. And until next time, peace out.